hello hi guys welcome back to the channel this is your girl Mimi Kells, and i'm here to tell you about um who's this guy again <laughs> i'm joking i'm here to tell you about edward billion who is an ex-boyfriend of kanyimbao if you know kanyimbao you know this guy okay so edward billion was walling out on his instagram page a couple of days ago accusing the multiple Grammy Award winning South African band Lady Smith Black Mambazo of stealing his father's name. Okay, so he put on some screenshots on his um, Instagram and he wrote under those screenshots, um, Lady Smith Black Mambazo, how is it that you own the name Black Mambazo? when the name belonged to my father's band black mambazo not lady smith black mambazo okay so everybody was just saying to him that okay what what are you hoping to achieve what are you looking for like are you looking for royalties are you looking for money what do you really want why are you making this public and why now and he responded by saying um both my father and uh, family are not after money not after royalties no grammys my father and his tribes um we are not looking to make a quick buck from lady speed uh, lady smith black mambazo okay so i don't i didn't i don't understand what he's looking for and what he's trying to achieve accusing the band of um stealing his father's name okay i i didn't know that the black mambazo name was actually tr was actually trademarked i'm sorry i didn't know that the black mambazo name was actually trademarked so i didn't know about that so this actually uh, made me quite you know want to find out really what's really going on here so i went and did some background check on the name lady smith black mambazo and i came across wikipedia obviously so on wikipedia uh, it states that you know um when they started the black mambazo when they started uh, before they were not even called uh, lady smith black mambazo they were called Ezimiyama okay the black ones so uh what they used to do is they used to enter competitions and they won almost all the competitions that they they they, they entered to the point where um they didn't allow them to participate in the competitions anymore so they came in as acts you know to entertain the crowd and stuff like that so in wikipedia according to wikipedia it states that um the first incarnation of Lady Smith Black Mambazo was Ezimiyama, the black ones, um, formed by Joseph uh, Shabalala in December 1960. The three elements of the new name were the hometown of um, Shabalala's family, Lady Smith, in Lady Smith uh, KZN, and the Black Mambazo is the, uh, the Black Ox considered to be the strongest farm animal uh which me uh, mambazo which means eggs in the zulu name and it's symbolic of the um choir's ability to chop down the competitions so that is how they came up with the name lady smith lake mambazo and now i'm just wondering why now why do you choose to come online right now if you guys have been fighting for this name under reps for so long and why wait for joseph shabala to pass away before you bring this thing in you know in into the public eye like why and i see that on tv right now they are busy advertising you know lady smith black mambazo to to honor um joseph shabalala they'll be performing and, and this thing this guy just started this whole thing in the midst of all of that so i'm wondering what he he is trying to achieve maybe because you know kangimbao's light has dimmed on him 
so he's trying to be relevant at this point that is what i'm thinking i'm thinking mugai is just trying to be relevant at this point and he's fighting these hardworking people who has grammys like what are you hoping to achieve what are you hoping to achieve anyway i don't know you guys what do you guys think do you think this guy is chasing clout or this is an honest stuff do you think that he's honest or he's just chasing clout because why keep quiet for so long and why choose now to come out like why do you choose to come out now hey anyway you guys i'm just a messenger y'all so um do let me know what you think in the comments down below and i'll see you on my next one bye